Whenever you release an app update, it's important to make sure that your existing users don't fall behind and that your user base doesn't become fragmented across multiple versions. So some apps will choose to notify users when a new version is available or will force them to upgrade if they fall too far behind. Now most implementations of this force update feature require a custom endpoint that specifies the minimum supported version, but we'll look at a simpler approach that only uses the iTunes Connect API. So now to use the iTunes API, you can go ahead and navigate to this endpoint here, but be sure to replace this bundle ID with the bundle ID of your app that's currently on the App Store. We can see that in the response, we get all of the metadata about our application. So things like the supported devices, whether or not Game Center is enabled, and most importantly, we can see our version number here as well. So now all we have to do in our iOS app is make a call to this endpoint and check if that return version number is ahead of the version number of our app. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've created a new Xcode project, but you'll notice that it has the same bundle identifier as the example we saw earlier, but the version number is 1.0 whereas the version on the App Store is 2.0. So if everything works, we should see a big discrepancy in version numbers, and then we can show the user an alert. So to get things started, I'm going to go ahead and create some models to help us manage the response from the iTunes API, and I'm going to go ahead and also create this extension on Bundle, which will allow us to easily grab the app's current version number. Now, I've reduced the codable models to just the relevant fields for this version number example, but if you want the other fields for whatever reason, feel free to add those back in. All right, so let's go ahead and actually build the real service now. So I've gone ahead and I've done this, and I'll just walk you through the code really quick. So the first thing it does is it tries to construct this URL and make sure that we can grab the bundle ID and we can get the current version number from that. Uh, from there, we'll just go ahead and actually make the network call with a little bit of error handling mixed in. Uh, we'll go ahead and make the call here using Swift concurrency and we'll parse the response. And then we'll go ahead and try and extract the version number from the response if it exists. Otherwise, if this property is nil, it means that we are using an incorrect bundle ID and there's no matching entry on the App Store for it to return the response of. And then finally, we just check if there is a mismatch in version numbers. Now you could go ahead and check that the uh, latest version number is bigger than the current version number, but I think just checking that they're not the exact same is sufficient. So that's how the actual service looks. Let's go ahead and see it in action. Wherever in your app you want to check for a potential new update, you can just go ahead and use the following lines of code. And this is using Swift concurrency, and it's going to check that uh, if a new version is available, we'll go ahead and hit this breakpoint. And here you can either print out some information, you can show the user an alert, you can control the experience from here however you would like and encourage them to update the app. So let's go ahead and run this and make sure that everything works. So we can see that this resolved to true and our breakpoint is hit and that, our, that a newer version exists on the App Store. If you'd like access to the code, you can find it on the accompanying blog post on digitalbunker.dev along with all of my other iOS and Swift development content. Uh, if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. See you in the next one.